If you own a Yamaha Wave Runner, you already know it's one of the best ways to spend a sunny day. But here's the thing, sooner or later, that little check engine light is gonna come on. And when it does, your fun can grind to a halt. Guys, welcome to OB Ski TV. And today I got something really cool to share with you guys. The Ansel MR500, specifically designed for a Yamaha Wave Runner. I'm gonna show you guys why this tool is so important, why it can save you time, money, and stress, and why I think every Yamaha Wave Runner owner should have this in their kit. One of the reasons I really enjoy um, you know, using this MR500 diagnostic tool is the ease of use. Really easy to understand. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to set it up, what are some of the first things you gotta do as soon as you take it out of the box, how to download the right manuals. Why don't we get into it? Let's show you guys how to hook this up, what's in it, and most importantly, how to use it. When you see that warning light, the first instinct for most people is take it to the dealer. The problem, just having them hook up a scanner and tell you what's wrong can cost anywhere from $100 to even $200. That's before even fixing anything. With the MR500, you can check that code yourself in minutes without loading your Wave Runner on the trailer, driving to the shop, waiting for an appointment. And for the DIYers out there, this tool puts the exact same kind of diagnostic power in your hands that dealers use. Even if you're not a DIY person, it's still incredibly useful for knowing what's going on before you decide your next step. Now let's take a look and see what exactly comes in the Ansel MR500 package. The first thing you'll notice is a package list of everything included along with a quick start guide. Then you'll see the actual power supply for the unit along with the Ansel MR500 unit itself. Next is the Yamaha special adapter and the main cable that attaches to the unit. So let's go ahead and hook it up here where the adapter plugs into the main cable and the main cable plugs right into the unit, just like you would on a computer. And once that's in, let's take a look and see how this hooks up to your Wave Runner. All right guys, so now that you got this open, it's pretty simple. The uh, Yamaha adapter is gonna connect right over here. Pretty much, you just hold the pins, should slide right out. Perfect. And then we are going to go ahead and hook up the Yamaha adapter right over here. Let me line it up, let's go, boom. And that's plugged in. Now it is time to use the MR500. I'm gonna walk you through what I did to set it up. But the first thing you'll notice is I actually have the Marine tool that's already downloaded. So before you get that, you gotta first and foremost set this up. We're gonna go to settings first, and you're gonna go to system settings, and then you're gonna click on Wi-Fi, and then you're just gonna log into your Wi-Fi. At that point, once you get logged on, you're gonna come back here, and you are gonna go to upgrade. You're gonna upgrade the system first. That's the first upgrade you're gonna see. And then once that's done, then you're gonna upgrade the actual software to the Yamaha one, which you don't see it here because I've already downloaded it, but that is going to be the software that we're gonna to use to then diagnose the actual Wave Runner. Once you've done that, you will see this marine diagnostic option up at the top left-hand corner. Once you've done that, then it's time to move on. Now that we've done that, the first thing you do is I don't have to turn the Wave Runner completely on. I just have to make sure that, that the ECU is on. So don't turn it completely on, but just make sure that your actual electronic system is on. And once it is, at that point, we're gonna go ahead and click on Marine Diagnostic. And then there is the Yamaha uh, software that I downloaded, which we're gonna be able to use. So we go in, we at that point, then we hit enter, communicating, and we're in. So here you guys can see some of the initial things it's gonna tell you information on your ECU. Um, always hit the back button here whenever you wanna move back. 
Uh, here is the codes. Whenever you have a code that is a fault code, you will see it here. Luckily, my Wave Runner does not have any fault codes at the moment, but here's where you can clear the fault codes. You can scan it. You can check out a diagnostic report on them. So this is going to be a big, big part of what you want to use this unit for. But again, thankfully, no fault codes on my unit at the moment. So we want to go back. Here are some of the other amazing things you can check. Now, I do not have my Wave Runner on at the moment because I am in the garage and obviously I don't have it over the water, but you can check out all these things. So you can highlight, right? You can click on what you want to view at the moment. So let's say, for example, I click on engine speed, atmospheric pressure, battery voltage, um, intake air temperature, all these different things. You can select what you want to see and then you just click OK and then it's going to show you the values, right? So the atmospheric pressure, you can see the battery voltage for the Wave Runner not being on. It's at 12.05 right now. Um, intake air temperature, obviously the engine speed right now is zero. But these are all things that when you get to the boat ramp or when you're in water, you can test it out. And here's a quick video of me out on the water as I'm testing all these out. Now, you can't really see them that well on the screen because it's pretty bright outside. But this is just an example for you to see on how easy it is to hook up at the ramp where you'll be able to tell all these different measurements on your uh, Wave Runner. As I mentioned before, uh, you can see some live data. If I go to the second option here, which states uh, state live data, with the Wave Runner obviously being on, you can check out ignition phasing, um, oil pressure switches, relays, fuel pump relays, no wake mode switch, engine startup switch. Uh, I'm not going to read all these off, but again, just like on the previous menu, you can select all of these modes that you want to check out and see where your Wave Runner sits on these different stages. So that's pretty awesome to see. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move back. Now, here's something that's really cool, I think. Runtime RPM. So this shows the uh, number of hours that your Wave Runner is operating under 0 to 2,000 RPMs, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, and so forth. So as you can see, my Wave Runner, only 13 hours out of the you know, ECU 243 were spent between 6 and 8,000 RPMs. Um, so this is a great way to diagnose. If you're looking to buy a Wave Runner, uh, this may be something you want to check out. So I think this is pretty cool. Now, on top of reading data stream, you can also do active tests. The cylinder ignition coils, fuel pumps, um, all these different, different tests you can run on it. But again, you're going to want to be out on the water to make sure that your Wave Runner doesn't overheat. I'm not going to be turning it on fully here in the garage. But these are just really, really great options for you to test the health of your Wave Runner. Um, without having to take it to the dealer. One of the great things here is it'll hold the information. Once you've run different reports, once you've um, checked all that, your data will be stored here along with any diagnostic reports that you've taken. It is a very, very easy, easy diagnostic tool to use and to house the information from your Wave Runner. Another great tab is the support tab, which you see over here. When you click on manual, you actually get the downloaded manual for the product. So you can check out the introduction, the diagnostic notes, uh, any information on upgrades or anything else like that. Pretty easy to navigate, pretty easy to maneuver around. So you can take a look at all that information here as well. For this video, let me give you guys a couple of the features that I think are really vital for this MR500. First and foremost, it's marine engine specialization, which is designed specifically for a Yamaha and a Suzuki watercraft, making it a rare and essential tool for boats and PwC owners. Secondly, you get lifetime free updates, so you can stay compatible with the latest watercraft models and software. Next, you can do a maintenance reset, so you can easily reset service reminders such as oil changes, inspections, you know, to keep your watercraft in peak condition. You can also do idle speed adjustment. So you can optimize engine performance and fuel efficiency with precise RPM tuning. You can also do advanced diagnostics, which full code reading and clearing to quickly identify and fix engine issues. 
bi-directional testing is also an option. So you can actively test sensors, injectors, and other components for precise troubleshooting. You can also do over 15 reset functions such as comprehensive control, over throttle learning, oil life, and other critical systems. Even when there's nothing wrong, the unit is still valuable. You can check multiple systems anytime, helping you catch small issues before they become big expensive problems. So best way I can put this, think of this as your WaveRunner's personal health monitor. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Ansel MR500 is definitely a tool that once again, I definitely recommend if you own a Yamaha Wave Runner. We discussed all of the pros, everything that it can help you stay on top of. I would even consider it a tool that lets you do preventative maintenance to avoid some of the bigger stuff that can happen. One of the great things about Ansel is they make it very affordable. You can check out some sales online. A lot of times they'll actually have it discounted from the original price and on top of that, if you use the code that I'm going to put in the link in the description, OB30, you can get an additional discount on the price. So really trying to make it as affordable as possible for you guys. Just using this once or twice in and of itself pays for itself because you don't have to make those trips to the dealership like we mentioned where $100, $200, depending on where you go, for them to even diagnose what the issue is and that's not even getting to work on the Wave Runner. So there's so many great things that this can take care of for you. As always, owning these things can be expensive if you don't take care of it. And listen, we know that nowadays these machines cost a lot of money. My advice, invest in this diagnostic tool to keep it up and running, to keep it in as top shape as you possibly can. Therefore, you can continue to ride your Wave Runner worry-free out on the water, which I'm pretty sure is the number one reason why you purchased it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. Pick up your Ansel MR500, link in the description. Appreciate you guys as always. Until the next one, let's go.